In this video, we're going to continue on with activity 1.3.2 called Making Holes in CAD by creating the Trammel Toy Base, the bottom portion. And we've already done the top portion in a previous video, and we can always all make sure that our active project is Making Holes in CAD. And we're going to go ahead and create a new part file by selecting the standard IPT and clicking Create. We're going to start off by starting a 2D sketch on the XY plane and I'm going to go ahead and select under rectangle a two point center rectangle clicking on the center and either as I'm drawing I can type in like 4.25 press the tab key 4.25 and then press enter if I zoom out that will automatically apply the dimensions and I can go ahead and finish the sketch because we've got a fully constrained sketch Let's go ahead and extrude this out. I'm going to flip the direction and change this to a thickness of 0.25. And go ahead and say OK. To get started with the, we have four hexagonal cutouts and then a circular cutout that's going to be on this base part of the Trammel Toy Base. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new 2D sketch and I'm going to click on the front face of this piece. From here, we're going to go ahead and go to, under Rectangle, we're going to go down to Polygon. Polygon is allows you to choose either Inscribed or Circumscribed. I'm going to go ahead and just click inside of here, and I'm going to, by default, it's going to draw a hexagon, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to draw a hexagon in here, and I'm going to go ahead and move on and draw four of them roughly in the place that they need to be. We'll worry about some sizing and placement here in a little bit. You're going to get a lot of constraints there. Once I'm finished, I can select Done. And then I can go ahead and look at placing some things. I'm going to grab this horizontal constraint. And on the top line of each one of these, I want to make sure not to pick the midpoint, which is the green dot. I actually want to be off of that and select the line. And you'll notice some of these are going to kick over to where now they're going to be horizontally set up. There we are. The other thing we need to do, I'm going to right click and say OK. I'm going to press the dimension tool. And across these points, so from this point to this point, I'm going to go up here and you're going to notice that I don't really get a good measurement like, like what we could do. So I'm actually going to right click and I'm going to choose a lined dimension. And that's going to give me a dimension that looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do 0.422 to make the size there. Why well, I've got this here from the left edge to the center of the polygon. This is going to have a 0.375 measurement from the center of the polygon down to the bottom. Depends on how you've measured. I'm going to go ahead and set this measurement to be 2.75. And we're going to go ahead and show that one more time. So with dimension, I'm going to click on this point. I'm going to click on this point. When I have the dimension showing, I'm going to right click with my, with my mouse and I'm going to select aligned from that option. 0.422 is going to be the measurement. For this one, we are going to be from this left edge to the center, 1.5. From the center to the bottom, 3.875. And that's going to fully constrain that polygon. Same scenario as we do for these bottom ones. Let's look at this one. From this point to this point, right click, select aligned, click to place your dimension, 0.422. This one is going to be 1.5 from the bottom. And from the left edge, it's going to be 3.875. So notice it says that's going to over constrain the sketch. So sometimes this will happen. I'm going to go and right click and say OK to stop the dimension tool. And the thing is, is that we've got some dimensions in here that are probably holding us in place. Okay, So what we're going to see 
is I'll see what kind of stuff's holding us there. Looks like we got kind of a pattern constraint, and I'll see if there's something else that's kind of holding us along as I select the lines. And not really sure what's kind of holding us there yet, but we'll guess we will see kind of as we go along. So I'm not really seeing anything pop up. Let me go ahead and s delete this dimension. There we go. Let's see if I can kind of position this a little bit better. We'll try it one more time. Let's dimension from this left edge to the center. Okay, this one looks like it's going to take it now. And it does look like that it's still going to tell me it's over constrained. So I think uh, there might be just a little bit of an error. Maybe I may have clicked on something that it picked up on. So I'm actually going to right click and say cancel. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight this hexagon and just delete it. Let's go ahead and do our bottom one. We'll come back and set a new one in. Again, set on these two points. Aligned. 0.422. From the bottom to the center. 0.375. And from the left edge over to the center. It's going to be... 2.75. Alright, let's go ahead and go back up here to Polygon. See if I can kind of place place a Polygon in here once more. Sometimes when you get going it's just easier to delete some geometry and try it again because you know you never know what you might be getting caught on in some of those cases. So this one here, actually I messed up. I need to delete that dimension. So click on this point, click on this point, right click, then say aligned. There we go. So 0.422 and this one's looking a little bit more promising. Looks like from the bottom line to the center it's going to be 1.5 and from the left edge to the center looks like it's going to accept it now it is going to be a value of 3.875 so there's our polygons. We're fully constrained. I'm going to go ahead and grab the circle command and I'm going to draw a circle just right here roughly. It's going to have a diameter of 0.375. And we're going to go ahead and worry about the placement right now too. Dimension from the left edge to the center of the circle. 3.375. From the bottom to the center of the circle, 2.875. So we're all fully constrained. I'm going to go ahead and say finish. I'm going to select extrude. I want to click on each one of these shapes. Let me see, zoom in here. There we go. It's picking up the dimensions rather than. So there, rather than extruding these out, I'm going to go ahead and do the cut operation. We're going to go all the way through, 0.25, and we're going to say OK. This is going to give us our bottom piece. We'll change the material over to making sure the Autodesk material library is selected. And we're going to choose medium density fiberboard. Go ahead and click Save. Trammel toy base bottom and this will finish out the Trammel Toys base bottom component for the activity.